Darkrai is a lot stronger than his Aegislash. Um, but do you feel like it's the right choice to still go with it first? Maybe scout out how Twixie's going to play against this matchup, then switch over to Aegislash afterwards. It, it's one of those scenarios where it's vice versa. Like, he could scout Aegislash. Um, going in it, the thing is with Darkrai, if he can get Nightmare up close, um, it's heavily in his favor just because he outframed Data's sh uh, Chandelure. And a lot, like, Shandy has to commit if he does, like, rifts, like, 2x Oki. Mm -hmm. um, now, it going, looks like they're going right into it, no button check. Going right into it, he is using Amolga as a support, which is good because it'll allow him to get in, as well as debuff Shandy to prevent overheat. Which is nice. Now, we do see Miu on Twixie. I think this is pretty smart here, because if he does go for the overheat, and he does get the bu double buffs, it negates all that which has happened, so. This, this is a matchup that I have played a lot. Um, I practiced it with Captain Zack back when he played. Um, if Darkrai gets in 6x range, Ooh. he can do a lot of pressure in non-Nightmare. The hard, like He has to do a lot of dashes, though. He really can't set up on Shandy unless he is playing the Oki game up close. That was just perfect straight out from Seven Trixie. golden letters. <laughs> I don't... I, I think I agree with you. I don't think the Darkrai was the smart choice it, here. It's This is a matchup that is very difficult. You have to be very patient and know your opponent. And Twixie is no slouch. Absolutely. I feel like we're going to see a character swap if Midi Midi loses this second round here. One of the other things, though, is landing a perfect like that first round. It's um, demoralizing. It can, it's demoralizing. It can really affect the player, which is huge. Yeah, we're already seeing that. Because right it, now. it could discourage him and make him play tilted, make him just kind of be like, this is hopeless matchup. I don't want to put in my maximum effort. Right. That's, and that's the problem. You have to have a good mindset when you're playing these oh, games. Midi's in. Midi teabagged him. <laughs> Dancing on this man. I like Once. the energy he's collected so far. He could use that for double buffs or healing pretty soon here. That is going to confirm in the burst, giving him double debuff and going to leave him full screen if this does not KO. The thing is, once Darkrai gets in on Shandy, um, I think it's anybody's game, especially once the overheat is baited out. Ooh, That's, wow. That was really, almost, really strong. Almost another perfect. Yeah, Twixie playing incredibly well that first game. Midi, Midi played a little bit better. You need to conserve your health. Sometimes it's like, just try your best to get in and field. And if you lose it, it's OK. But you want to make sure that you can conserve your health. Yeah. And that if you lose field, it's to something like Smog, like a light trade. Like you still have lots of your HP left, and this way, you can make trades in dual phase using 8Y, which yeah. is the reach around hands that pull you in, and try and get him closer. Because once you're in a certain range for like 6x, mm -hmm. Shandy and you kind of like. Whoa. It's a lot of pressure. Wow. He's, he's still sticking. staying dark right. I thought we were gonna see the character swap. Let's see. Maybe he has a plan. Maybe yeah. he's changed his mind. Maybe that that was just a scout. And he's still going with Emoga. Which I still, like, he's, oh, wait. Yeah, he's Twi still going with Emoga. <laughs> Twixie's another player, though, who he plays around Emoga very well. Yeah, I mean, if you have a slow Shandy, that's a really hard, <laughs> like, a way for Chandelure to do anything, pretty much. But we are seeing that Mini Mini is getting in there. There it is. See, that was the 6x riff caught him from the back dash because it creates a spacing range that he has to respect. Like right now, when he lands, he can he can protect himself with Nasty Plot. We are seeing a lot of shielding coming out here. Chandelier swing. Going for the grab. Now, this gives him a great opportunity to stay on top of the Chandelure. We do X is a great gap closer as well. Unfortunately, we do see a debuff defense, a defense debuff onto Midi Midi. So actually, it just goes away here. That could have been some seriously bad news. Getting caught by the laser right now. He's in hex range with the buff. He has to respect it and oh. the laser. Really big damage coming out from Twixie. Though. I think Mew is a very good pick for Chandelure because at mid range, Chandelure puts you in a sort of checkmate position. Yeah, you're not exactly sure what's going to happen. So if no matter what you get hit by, he has the buff. So the buff makes it so you can't even just say, okay, I'll take this trade because I prevented Hex, which will do more damage than the laser. Because now the laser is going to do a lot. Right, and this is actually probably going to be death, I believe. Yeah, absolutely. Tuxi once again taking the first round of game two. But he did lose about half health this time. You know, that's an improvement for Midi. Midi is getting a little bit closer. I'd like to see him take at least a round from Twixie right now. What do you think he needs to, I mean, aside from getting in, I feel like there needs to be more mind games. You see him disappearing and reappearing behind Twixie, but no grab. They just stand there and shield against each other. And I feel like we need to see a little bit more mix-ups. He needs to... Darkrai actually has decent mobility in field, so besides the side dashes, he can walk around 
the 5Y that Twixie keeps throwing out. All right, trying to get himself in, getting a little bit of spatial rifts. I think Mitty has to be a little bit more patient and understand all of Chandelure's options. And I think that goes for every character. Like, Shandy is definitely a hard matchup for a lot of people. <sighs> nice job that from Twixie. Massive damage. But if you know all of Chandelure's mix-ups yeah. and how long Shandy can stay airborne and stuff, it does make it more favorable. That That's, was a pretty bad Amolga, I'd say, into, into Sneeze. That is going to close <laughs> it out. Mini getting 2 0 from Twixie, sending him to the loser's bracket. That was really, really quite fast, actually. Um, we, we saw a little bit of adaptation coming out uh, from Mini Mini Bang Bang, but, you know, not enough, not quick enough on the draw there. Twixie, constant pressure. Not letting him get in when he wanted to get in, and then when he finally did, backing off more. And then punishing those um, attacks that Mitty was trying to set up.